Welcome back. It's 720 this Monday morning. I'm here with Lieutenant Colonel Owens from the Lee County Sheriff's Office. And, um, you know, yesterday we had some very sad news about this um, this Sikh temple that had had the shooting occur. And then, of course, with the Colorado shooting at the movie theater. Um, praise the Lord. You know, nothing like that has happened here. But in that situation, um, what are you supposed to do? What, what would your advice be to everybody? Really, there's only... There's only three things that you can really do in, in a situation like that. You can run. If you run, leave the building. Try to encourage other people to not go in the building. Hide. Hunker down where you are. Find you a good place. Hunker down where you are. Uh, if you're in an office area and you get in a closet or something like that, block the door, barricade the door the best that you can with whatever um, copying machine or whatever it is that you have available put those in front of the door and block that or you can fight mm -hmm. find you something there that you can fight with um, fire extinguisher or you know whatever you can find that that's available to you in your office area or wherever you might be find something and then obviously call 911 mm -hmm. um, and if you call 911 leave an open mic uh, in other words call let them know where you are, who you are, and what's going on. But leave it open so that they can hear mm -hmm. what's, what's happening play-by-play uh, play because what's happening is the, the officers out on the road, they're wanting to know updated information as they're on their way. This gives the dispatcher an opportunity to listen and relay to them, I hear this going on, I hear that going on. Um, and it is very sad with what happened yesterday. Uh, but it seems like that's happening across the country more and more. And we just, we just want people to know that, that there's really three options in that situation, run, hide, or fight. Yeah. And it's so hard to know in that situation what you could say all day, I'd do this or I'd do this. But when it really comes down to it, I don't even, it's so sad we even have to think about what we would do in a situation like right. that. But it is hard to know how you would personally react when it really comes down to it. What are your thoughts on, you know, a lot of people are saying, well, we should ban guns and all, you know, people are in an uproar about guns. What are your thoughts on all of that gun control and everything that everybody's hollering about now about that? You know, guns, guns don't kill people. People kill people. Mm -hmm. It's not the gun's fault. Uh, you know, thinking about what the guns are, the bans on them and everything, Typically speaking, the bad guys are not buying them from the stores and having to sign the papers and all that stuff. They're buying them off the street. Right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I'm not a legislator or anything like that, and I, I don't know what the things are that they come up with. Um, but they're buying them off the street. They're not buying them from the store. Right. The good people that do buy them from the stores and mm -hmm. things, that's who gets hurt in the long run about buying weapons mm -hmm. and things. And man, I was saying when we, I went to go see The Dark Knight and you couldn't help but be a little bit nervous, you know, but oh, we I'm went sure. um, to Columbus. We were right by the military base and a lot of people around us were in the military and I mm -hmm. thought to myself, I'm probably in the safest place yeah, because probably, I bet a yeah. couple of them probably have, they're carrying and I felt so safe knowing that good people yeah. had a form of protection and I was there with them and yeah. We're going to be the, back. The um, good people outweigh the Exactly, bad, sure. exactly. We're going to be back in just a little bit with Lieutenant Colonel Owens. Let's go over now to Chris with an update on the weather.